we will start with the model 3 fabric implementation fabrics so in that the first topic is integrated circuits so in that we have three subtopics integrated circuit manufacture second is SSI and MSI logic families so SSI stands for small scale integration MSI stands for medium scale integration logic families third is application specific integrated circuits also known as ASIC so now first we will start with the introduction about integrated circuits so here so this is about the introduction as we know that so integrated circuits are nothing but when a numerous components are connected together are integrated together on a single silicon chip we call it as an integrated circuit here the numerous components are nothing but the transistors the MOS transistors which are integrated are connected together on a single silicon chip so now <clears throat> if I compare this with the early, early digital systems they were constructed using discrete switching components so discrete switching components such as relays vacuum tubes transistors resistors diode, diodes so such they are called as discrete components so all these circuits are connected together using a external wires so thereby the size of the device will be larger speed will be less cost will be more so these all problems are overcome by using a integrated circuits which have a tremendous cost reduction and also in terms of speed and in terms of size the first IC is invent, uh, in, uh, invented by Jack Kilby at Texas Instruments in the year of 1958 later on many developers improvised the integrated circuits okay then it became a widespread the two best reasons why you need to develop a digital ICR the first is to deal with the legacy systems so here the legacy systems is nothing but these are the old systems which are need to be maintained and need to be operational where absolute parts are unavailable in the present condition then we utilize the digital IC circuits as the replacement so, so that you can keep legacy systems in operation and maintained the second thing is the circuit technology is continuously evolving so continuously evolving is nothing but you should evolve in terms of speed cost size and power consumption so all these things need to be taken care that is nothing but evolving here the best example is the size of the IC should remain same but the number of transistors should increase okay like Moore's law so this is about the introduction of integrated circuit <coughs> so now we'll move on to the first topic so how to manufacture the integrated circuits okay so this is the next topic so integrated circuit manufacture so as you know that the manufacturing of integrated circuit in other terms is also known as fabrication so fa fabrication of ICs or fabrication of CMOS here the materials which are used to manufacture the integrated circuits are we can use a, a wafer which is of pure form of crystalline silicon okay and then we'll do some processes or process steps to manufacture the integrated circuit that can be discussed completely in this figure here so in this figure in the first figure it is a in the first figure it is shown that three materials are used that is wafer film and resist wafer <coughs> is nothing but a this is a crystalline silicon which is used as the base to form the IC okay so next is a film this film it belongs to the an, thin layer of oxide that oxide may be a silicon dioxide layer so this silicon dioxide layer is formed using some oxidation process like thermal oxidation third is resist resist is nothing but here photoresist which is sensitive to the light okay there are two types of photoresist are there one is positive photoresist and the second is negative photoresist where the positive photoresist is nothing but when it is exposed to light here the exposed part will become softened the remaining part is hardened here so that is positive photoresist negative photoresist is nothing but the portion part which is exposed to the light this will become hardened the remaining part become softened whereas in hard, of positive the exposed part become softened the remaining part become hardened so like this nothing but a resist here now which is shown in the figure B here so the first base base part is the silicon the second part is the silicon dioxide layer which acts as an insulating layer between the 
silicon and the next part upper part where it is connected now the next is here the mask is used these are the uv rays which falls on the uh, upper part of the photoresist okay or surface of the photoresist and then the exposed part of the photoresist will, here will become hardened and the remaining part will be the softer okay so in the figure c the which is not exposed to the uv rays has been etched away and in figure d the remaining part of the sio2 layer is etched away in figure e now the device is ready which is used to connect for the external world okay so like this this is a process where it is used to manufacture a integrated circuits here some points are used some process that is ion implantation is nothing but here the impurity ions are uh, diffused into the silicon okay uh, impurity ions and positive ions negative ions which are belongs to the n type and p type material etching is nothing but it's a chemical reaction which is used to etch away the unwanted portion of the manufacturing or processing step third is a photolithography which uses a photoresist and the ultraviolet rays to uh, <coughs> harden or soften the surface of the photoresist which is need to be removed or which is need to be kept so this is about manufacturing of the integrated circuit and the remaining thing here is so manufacturing circuit requires several different masks to form the circuit layers so you can use a different kinds of masks okay so depends upon the manufacturing of ics if there are any ics which are fail then it will affect the cost of the packaging so the cost of the is each ic package depends on the ics which are faulty and which are good so based on that the cost of the ic is also decided so this is about uh, manufacturing of integrated circuits if any doubts we can message me thank you